Hey Tanya and welcome to my channel. I am so excited to be back to organize yet another closet. So thanks for tuning in. Today I am tackling my hall closet, the bane of my existence. So take a look. but it's just a very typical small shallow hall closet I've tried some different organizational systems like the shoe organizer and a bookshelf and some different things so I'm I think I'm gonna have to start all over take everything out and just try something brand new so thanks for coming along and let's get started Okay, y'all, it's all cleaned out. Um, took me like only about 10 minutes, 15 minutes. I did have a little side help over here, so shout out. But I had stuff in here that like golf clubs. Nobody actually golfs, don't know where those came from. But I would like to not throw away much. Actually, a lot of the stuff I need, I just need to figure out a better way to have it in here and make it work for me instead of me constantly working for it. So stay tuned y'all. Okay guys, that took forever. Hours have gone by, but I am so pleased with my results. So take a look. Okay, so I started with just a very simple door. I decided to take down all the shoe organizer business because I really couldn't see what I had in there anyway, and this was simpler and better. So I started at the very top with a Dollar Tree hook system and just put it across the, over the door. And then I put just a tote bag that I already had, so use any tote bag that you've got and fill it full of shirt boxes, gift bags, even this little pouch in the front has my greeting cards and things. This is to keep the mayhem from happening all in the closet, right? So I just put it here, but if you don't need that, consider maybe putting your recycle bags there or something else, maybe even a few coats or things, something that's practical for you this just worked perfectly for me. Then further down to kind of give myself a little bit of room, I put four command hooks. This way it's nice and sturdy. And then I put like on my little grab and go. So measuring tapes and Phillips screwdrivers, things that I don't want to get into my toolbox for, but that I need often. Just put it right there. It's not going anywhere, y'all. Now I'm going to break down kind of what I did up top. I have this, it's a cutting board that is from Dollar Tree and actually would be better probably if you tape these together. This was two sets and this keeps anything from sliding through the wire rack. So I started with that as a base. Then I took these is in the kitchen section of Dollar Tree and I placed on top of it that same kind of locker looking bin 
And then what's new to me is this little bin that has a closed top that it fits just perfectly into. That was just quite a find. I was so thrilled with that because now I can utilize double the space and not have to take down double the bins below that I took those same S hooks these actually are from Ikea but you can get them at Walmart maybe even Dollar Tree and I used as a little bit of a hanging system just to take advantage of this little bit of extra space that I have then right underneath that I'm putting my gift wrap paper in horizontally instead of vertically like everybody else and here's how I did that I took the same kind of shelf that we just used and I flipped it upside down and put it in with these staple hooks I will show you. Okay, so I used these to actually secure it to the wall. These are from Walmart. I will link those below just because I know it's hard to see probably in the camera. And then I also get a shot of this without the paper in it so that way you can really see how I put all that together. And then bonus, okay, so there's two next to each other like this. And then bonus, I put these just on each end just for some extra ribbon. This is very secure. I used several of them. Again, I'll let you see that. Okay, guys, this is what I do for YouTube in the closet. I have these trash cans. I have actually six on the wall that are secured with cup hooks. And they have all of my big things like light bulbs, my glue guns, all of my vacuum accessories, painting supplies, things like that that maybe you don't want to go to a garage for or my storage unit for, but yet I need to be able to get to it readily. This was a great way for me to utilize that whole back wall space and still not have anything on the floor. Okay, and then back in this teeny tiny little space here, I have put my tissue paper. This was sort of an unuse, unusable space anyway. So here are all my little tissue papers just hanging. That was a great way to use unused space. And then right underneath the tissue paper, I put a couple more of these hooks. Those same ones that I used in my laundry room for my scissors. And then for my flashlight and then I put a couple more down here for extension cords just a great way to keep stuff up off the floor and then over here on this one wall I put another one of those bins with the four command hooks with my glue sticks and then my picture hanging supplies and a level again just to have it out but still has a little spot of its own. I just love the way that this turned out over here because otherwise you couldn't do anything with this little angle corner. Okay, then all along this narrow part of the wall, I took a dish rack, turned it upside down. I secured it with these cup hooks right here and I put our beach towels on it. Beach towels just are all over our house all the time it seems like because there's really no place for them. I do not want them in my all white linen closet. So instead I put them here. You can use instead cleaning towels, pet towels, all the different kinds of things that might be better utilized for your space. But for me this was an answer, a big answer. And then on this third rack, I have a tool chest that I a long time ago from Dollar Tree and that just has some little doodaddy things on it. And then below that is all of those awkward rulers and grids and things that I use for crafting that this is the perfect answer for. Another thing this would be awesome for is paper towels. I think this would be an awesome way to be able to stack and rack in your laundry room and things like that, some extra paper towels. This system allowed a lot of free space on the floor. So I got to thinking about other things that might be able to go in here. A vacuum cleaner would be 
perfect up against this awkward side. But then also in another one of my bedroom closets, I have this little utility cart from Ikea, very similar to the one that's from Target. This fits perfectly in here as well. So if you had more stuff that you needed to get into this closet, but still making it very mobile, you could just in and out with this and still have great access to what's going on behind it. The only other thing that I have on the floor that's my ride or die that I will have forever is my tool chest that is full of all of my goodies. So that will stay here as well. Speaking of floors, that is one of my four things that I always try to remember whenever I'm working with a space. And that is make sure that anything on the floor has its purpose. If you want shoes, that's fine. If you want things, that's okay. Just don't allow it to get away from itself. The next thing that I always try to remember is put stuff inside of other stuff. Always make sure that you have containers that you're putting things where they belong. The third thing to keep in mind is to always use your vertical space all the way up to the ceiling. Use every bit of real estate that a closet offers you. And lastly, always try to remember to individualize that space and make it yours. I've tried doing this closet a couple of times without success because I sort of halfway tried. This is individualized for me and exactly what I need in my house. So this will be successful, I know. And I did it for like 30 bucks, y'all. Okay. okay, and as a little extra goodie, all of these fun labels that I have, I actually uploaded onto my blog and all of these kinds of things that I could think that might be in a haul closet are included on a list. That way you guys can get on and download it. I will link it below. And so that's kind of fun. I used a transparent sticky sheet from Avery and just printed it through my printer. But if you don't have that, you can use just regular labels or whatever you have. So I was just really excited to do that. So make sure and tag me on Instagram at hey Tanya Blog if you use them. I would love to see how you guys utilize your space. Thanks so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Thanks. Okay. Hi, I'm Tanya. Thanks for tuning in to my channel today. No. And let's take a look. I'm I really don't know. Know. Wait, why do I have to say I'm Hey Tanya? Welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be back and organizing another hall closet. Why did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, all right. Hi, I'm. I have to say who I am. Uh huh. Hey, I'm Tanya. Hey, I'm Hey Tanya. <laughs> Welcome on to the channel. Okay. Okay. Next thing I always like. <laughs> <laughs> Put your things in other things. <laughs>